hey, uh, I would like to welcome you to Foot Shop. Thank we, you. Man. We appreciate your interview, and uh, we're fresh after the concert. So, uh, what are your feelings right now? I'm tired, cold. It's cold as fuck here, but yeah, I'm ready to fucking party tonight and do whatever the fuck people in Prague do. So, perfect, yeah. wonderful. So, uh, I'm gonna jump in straight to sneakers. Yeah, but so uh, what is your like global relation to sneakers overall? Um, I'm not really a sneaker like sneaker head. Like I like sneakers, but I don't really know too much about sneakers. But I mean, they're essential to everyone's everyday outfit. So yeah, I fuck with sneakers. I'm not really a sneaker head though. Like I don't know mm -hmm. everything about them, but yeah. Perfect. Do you have like any brands that you like to rock? Um, I mean like the typical Nike, Adidas. I really fuck with Pumas lately. Like the Puma, uh -huh. um, whatever Rihanna's name. Yeah, name. Fenty. Exactly those yeah, ones. Yeah. Uh, Reebok, uh, yeah, all the typical shit I fuck with. Cool. Uh, do you remember like what you were like first real sneakers or? N not really. Like judging by my mom's taste, it was probably some like Nike, like Air Maxes, something back in the day. But yeah, I don't really remember mm -hmm. what kind of sneakers I had back then. Perfect, perfect. And uh, I'm gonna move into clothes right now. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you bought on the European tour? Uh, not really. I mean, we, we've gotten a lot of stuff from like certain brands. I mean, uh, BBC has given us some stuff. I mean, we haven't really had time to shop because mm -hmm. usually it's just like airport show. We leave the next day airport show. You know what I mean? It's really fast paced, but yeah, yeah. I want to buy like, I want to find like a Kappa outlet or something to like catch out on some Kappa or uh -huh. something. So. so you're into old school stuff. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. We got a lot of outlet stores here. So yes. You're leaving early We tomorrow. leave early, but maybe we could like, I doubt we could force it, but we'll see. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, are there any like brands like that are in the Europe that aren't in the US that you like really like that are hard to get there? Um, I don't really know what's here. I feel like it's easier to find stuff here because mm -hmm. there's just more options and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just about looking. Hopefully we have some on days off, we go out to the shop and stuff so we can find some stuff to wear. But yeah, I don't know. We're just going day by day mm -hmm. with the clothing stuff. Cool. Uh, I'll jump right into music right now. So uh, uh, a lot of rumors going around. Uh, when is your EP with Mizogi dropping? Oh, that we're working. I mean, like, I don't want to get, we, we obviously don't have a date yet, but we're working. We're trying to like, We'll like make a song and then like say we don't fuck with it anymore because we're trying to get it really perfect and stuff. Uh -huh. So there was a point where we had like like five songs done for the for the EP and then we just like scrapped all of them because it was just like it wasn't meant for the time and we're just like we need to get this perfect and have it like ready for this time and mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So yeah, we're working. I mean we want to come out like by I'm gonna say by before summer, hopefully. Mm -hmm. That's what we're aiming for. So yeah. Uh, you linked up through SoundCloud, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. SoundCloud. That's how we met originally. Ooh. Wonderful. And uh, are you planning on working or singing with the Sad Boys in the future? Oh, I, it would be cool if that offer came. I mean, I fuck with the Sad Boys. I fuck with all of them. So if they, I don't even know if they know who I am. Like, mm -hmm. if they did, then yeah, I'd be down to work with them. They're sick. I fuck yeah. with the aesthetic and stuff. So I think yes. I mean, Young Lean is very inspirational. Exactly. And, I think there are a lot of aspects that we can find in like your music and yeah, this music that are yeah, similar. Of course, I'd be down to work with Young Lee. He's fire. Perfect. And uh, what are your like current influencers in music-wise? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't really have any particular influencers when it comes to like the music industry. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I take a bit from everything, but my sole like influence or inspiration or whatever you may like refer to it as is probably my dad mm -hmm. because like he's he's always inspired me to just like do what I want to do and he also made music when he was young so he still makes music to this day but it's, yeah, it's you got two tracks with him right yeah yeah. yeah 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 but it's obviously different for him now because he has a family and all that stuff but he's like my soul like that's where I take inspiration from whether it be just like advice for life or music mm -hmm. just being a man in general and what about Travis Scott? Do you yeah, take yeah. him as inspiration? Of course, yeah, 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 of course. Travis, all, all the like, all current musicians I take influence from because they, they got cool aesthetics and stuff. But yeah, that's a given. Perfect, wonderful. And uh, so, uh, if you would be to rate the Czech audience music-wise, how would it be like compared to like the rest of Europe that like, you, you've been to? You mean like the, the audience from the show? Yeah. 
that had to be like a hot, like between eight and ten because <laughs> those kids they do not get tired bro like they yeah. just keep jump like usually in a crowd like there's a certain like i kind of feel it out like i can tell when they're kind of getting tired and when i have to change like what i but like prog kids they just never get tired nah, they, they knew don't. every word like the mosh was open the whole time like it was wild so this is one of my favorite shows yeah. one of them hands down yeah i remember when uh young Ling was playing last year and basically every song even heard even those like that were really calm yeah a mosh but was yeah, open yeah, yeah. and bodies were like flying all over the either place. that or they just know every word it's yeah. wild it's it's a it gives you energy when they do that stuff cool uh, do you think like the older generation will like catch up with like the music too and start vibing because like you don't really see the support you're getting from like soundcloud like from yeah. Czech Republic, but do you think like um i mean i d i doubt it And I don't really blame them because they weren't brought up on this type of stuff. But mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's there was like a there was like a 30 year old guy, I think, at the show last night. So it's really like whoever's into that stuff. I feel like for the majority, older people won't really be into that stuff because they mm -hmm. weren't brought up on it. But that's just the way I'm there's nothing wrong with that. You yeah. Know what I mean? So it's just the way it is nowadays. Are there like any still places in Europe that you would like to perform at some cities or? I've, for the most part, for this tour, everywhere is covered. I mean, like mm -hmm. we have Russia, we have here. Uh, maybe some more cities here could have been cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in Lisbon. Uh, people were saying to go to Porto, and so there's yeah, there's just a couple cities in every country that we maybe missed. But mm -hmm. yeah, it, for the most part, it's a long tour, so we're covering pretty much everywhere. And how's the Russian scene in general? Good. For, judging from last year, it was good. Mm -hmm. Apparently, this year it's supposed to be even crazier. But judging from last year, like Russia has to be one of my cra like favorite places because the kids there just genuinely love music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's very like organic. The crowd and and they also know like every word and it's just it's just fire out yeah. there. It's crazy. The majority of rappers really say that people in Russia really go word by word yeah. and really the hype is, yeah. is, is very real Exactly. There. They study, so. they study like whatever artist is coming, they study that artist. Like they know mm -hmm. a lot about that artist. So yeah, yeah some uh, diehard fans out there. Cool. Uh, are there any goals in the nearest future that you're heading to or like that you would want to achieve in like uh, in, in a wider, wider time range? Oh, uh, I mean, goal i don't really like my my ultimate goal is to just first of all like be a, like a kind of like a legend to my city like where i come from because i don't really think there's anyone in the city that anyone looks up to like a legend per se like they mm. all kind of made their own path and moved away but first and foremost that's my first goal and other than the city becoming like a legend like worldwide becoming like a mm -hmm. Like an influence to a whole bunch of kids, showing people that they can do exactly what I'm doing and stuff. So, and just giving them a good time at the shows, I feel like that's the most important thing. Just giving them a good time because a lot of kids go through a lot of shit, and I feel like the shows is like an escape kind of thing mm -hmm. for them to just come to and enjoy themselves. So yeah, that's all I'm really hoping to do in the future. Perfect. Keep doing it. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, thank you very much for yeah, the interview. No problem, yeah. That's you.